Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and today I want to talk to you guys about tire dressings. Now I know for me personally, I am always on this quest to find the best tire dressing. And I think I found a couple winners, but I want to test out four new products today. Obviously I have four tires, so I'm going to do one on each tire. And I'm really excited to try these out. They're ones that I've seen a lot of, you know, ripples and, and discussion within the different detailing forums that I'm a part of. I'm really excited to try them out and what I'm going to do is actually compare them over like let's say a month period. We're going to do a weekly update. I'm going to maintain them with soap and water only, no layering. It's going to be single layer and we're just going to see what kind of performance we can get from these tire dressings. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to show an individual video on my channel for each tire dressing that I'm choosing and how I apply it. So that way this video isn't going to be a 20 minute video, but this is kind of the intro summarizing all of those in individual videos that I'm going to do. But I want to share with you the four products that I'm going to be doing. And so the first two, these are, I'm a part of Detailing 101 on Auto Geek as well as Detailing for Money, Why Wait Auto Detailing. And there's one individual that he actually creates his own products, Lloyd Snell. And he has been promoting a lot of his tire shines lately. And so I'm really intrigued. So I thought I would try them out, save you guys the hassle of, is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Let's test it out. So the first one we have is his sling free tire protectant and dressing. Now this is no silicone. It is a petroleum dressing and rubber protectant. I'm reading the instructions so I don't butcher it. Formulated without silicone fluid seals, protects and beautifies tires. Sling free dries more completely to eliminate sling and resist attracting dust. That sounds like a winner. It's durable formula repels water to outlast any other protectant. This is why I bought it. The other product that I actually asked it asked for a sample to be sent to me is his acrylics. Now this is just a sample. I'm going to be doing it on one tire. I have a feeling I'm going to fall in love with it. All of these per, or products can be purchased on his eBay channel and I'm going to put the links down below to that so that he can benefit from this. But we're gonna go ahead, read the instructions like we do here. This product is designed exclusively for industrial and institutional use by trained professional car wash personnel. I don't know if that means, but maybe. Label directions and precautions must be followed exactly, blah, 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 blah. All right, this is just telling me how to apply it, so we'll go ahead and do that. It doesn't necessarily give me a product description, but that's okay. The premise behind this is that it is a well, and I'll read the description, special acrylic rubber protectant. But essentially, the pictures that I've seen of this product look fantastic, so I'm really excited to try it out and just kind of see how these two compare and contrast with one another. The other two that I have seen, I'm good friends with Landon Crawford. He has his own channel on YouTube. I'm going to put the link down below. But he has done quite a few videos showcasing this product right here from Duplicolor. Landon, I love you. You made me intrigued to try this product out. If any of you are wanting to kind of know all of the tips and tricks of this product, make sure you check out his uh, his channel, his videos. He has like very thorough videos. Um, even if you have overspray issues with this product, he shows you how to remedy that. But we're going to go ahead and apply this to one of the tires and see what kind of end results we can have. And I actually purchased the tire shine coating. I'm going to demo that in a future video. The other one I want to try out is Optimum's tire protection and coating. This is a huge product that I see all, constantly everyone suggesting for tire dressing. So we're going to try this out. This is actually a coating for tires. I've tried out McKee's 37 tire coating. It looks very, very similar. So we're going to try this out and see what's better. A tire coating, a tire paint, petroleum or petroleum based dressing or an acrylics based dressing. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to first clean all these tires and wheels using McKee's 37 Tire and Rubber Rejuvenator. Fantastic deep cleaning tire uh, cleaner. We're going to do two to three rounds. Make sure we remove all of the dirt and any sort of former dressings that haven't been on there. I actually haven't put any dressings on in a while because I was preparing for this video. We're going to clean our wheels, get everything nice and dry, and then we're going to go ahead and shoot all those individual videos. Check for them down below on all of these products, how to apply them and then we're going to come back and kind of show you like an all-encompassing view of how they all look so let's get into it
has been the appropriate amount of time for all of the tire dressings and coatings to have dried. Let's take a look. This is our tire paint and tire shine. This side is the tire paint. This is, I wouldn't say one layer. I mean, I went over it a couple times, but I didn't spray it on. I applied it with a, a tire foam applicator. And you can see we have a nice black matte finish. The only con is I do have a little streaking right here from where it overlapped, but that's okay. I'm not going to freak out because it's not necessarily super permanent. I can remove it. But there's our tire paint and tire shine coating. Over here we have our optimum tire coating. Let's take a look. You can see we have a nice shine to it. This is one coat. We are dry to the touch. Bring you in here. Everything dried evenly. We have a nice shine to it, not overly glossy. This is about the equivalent of, I would say, if I were to do hyper dressing at about like five or six to one. But a nice even look. That looks fantastic. All right, over here we have our Lloyd Snell petroleum based uh, sling free tire shine. Let me show you from the side. Dried evenly. We have just a little bit of blotchiness right here, just around the lettering. For a petroleum based tire dressing, though, not bad. What I like about it is the claims that it is sling free because this is petroleum based and my hand does not have a whole lot of grease on it. Maybe a little, little bit tacky. Let's come down here where you got some better lighting. So that is a really great petroleum based dressing. We're going to see how durable and how long that can last on there. And then our final tire dressing. This is the acrylics tire dressing. For any of you who like a high gloss tire dressing, you have to check this stuff out. Take a look at that. This is dry to the touch. So right now, what I wanna see out of this product is how long it's gonna last and how long it's gonna maintain this amazing shine. Take a look at this from a distance. That looks fantastic. All right, let's do our final walk around just from a distance. I wanna know in the comments below, below, sorry. What do you guys think? Which one would you prefer? We've got tire A, Lloyd Snell's Acrylics Tire Shine. We've got tire B, Lloyd Snell's Sling Free Tire Dressing. This one is not at quite the advantage just because of the sun, but this is tire C, Optimum Tire Coating. You can see from over here, and then from a distance, I apologize, the sun is setting, so it's not giving me very good looks on this side. And then tire D, we have our Dupacolor tire paint on one half on the left, and then on the right hand side is the tire shine coating. So from a distance, here's our final look. We'll do one more on the other side. Here's the final side. I'll tell you my personal opinion. Personally, I'm blown away with this acrylics stuff. Now it's a competition to see can it last as long as the other, the Optimum tire coatings and the Dupacolor tire paint. Because if this stuff can last, even if it gives me a month of shine, it is a winner in my book. I believe this stuff is on eBay, super affordable. All of his products are affordable from his soaps to his tire shines that he's creating. I think this gentleman has a huge future ahead of him when it comes to uh, different chemicals. He's coming out with some really cool stuff lately. So I want to know in the comments below your thoughts. You know, you may not like high gloss. Which one would you prefer? Which one do you think is going to last the longest? Which one do you think is going to get knocked off the post first? Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned. We got some cool videos coming out and uh, I just appreciate each and every one of you, the part you play and the support you're giving me. Have a great night, have a blessed Labor Day weekend, and we'll see you guys in the next video.